every single red lobster in western New York closed all at once. But I'm Derek Hyde in Amherst with what you can do with your gift cards and where you can still get your shrimp and Cheddar Bay biscuits. Everything from the ovens to the red lobster signs out front will go to the highest bidder because the entire contents of the Amherst Red Lobster is up for auction. With just under two days remaining on the auction, the highest bid on the entire restaurant was just $2,300. Cheddar Bay biscuits and the shrimp, you know, but what's what happened? Uh, some some poor management decisions and, and you factor in the, the inflationary environment that we're in and r r rising wages. Uh, it just creates the perfect storm. University at Buffalo professor Charles Lindsay studies consumer trends in marketing and he feels the mass closing of red lobsters across the country was bound to happen because of three major things. One, rising competition in the restaurant space. Two, mismanagement of certain promotions bringing a financial loss. And three, overall rising costs in the industry. All three, though, if you put all three of those together, uh, wow. And I could ultimately also see a second wave, perhaps, or even a third wave of uh, stores and units uh, being, being closed. As for the rest of us sitting on unused Red Lobster gift cards, Katarina Schmieder with the Better Business Bureau feels it's time to start asking for a refund. Contact the company or their headquarters to see what their plan is for issuing refunds and if they have one. I know this happened very abruptly. Um, if you're unable to get a refund, then you're obviously more than welcome to file a complaint at BBB.org. The locations in Hamburg, Amherst, and Williamsville are all currently closed. But not all Cheddar Bay biscuits are lost because there is still a Red Lobster location open in Niagara Falls, Canada. So if you can't get a gift card refund, you might just need to leave the country to spend it. I reached out to the corporate office. They told me we are not issuing any statements related to store closures. Derek Hyde, 7 News, Amherst.